Hello and welcome. At one time or another, most of us have used a vise to hold a small piece of sheet steel and then used a hammer to bend it against the vise jaw. Although this works, it can damage the vise or the jaws and the vise jaws can damage the workpiece. A workaround has been to use steel angle false jaws to hold the workpiece. But that brings challenges of aligning the jaws and holding them in place while securing the workpiece. This tool takes a strain out of the vise and allows you to easily position the workpiece due to the nature of the sprung round at one end of the tool. It's not only useful for bending steel, it can also be used for shearing steel in a similar fashion to a guillotine. This folding bar is another of the projects I made at high school. It's made from 20mm steel angle, 3mm thick, and it's time to make a new one, a bigger one. G'day, I'm Steve-O, and welcome to the Outback Shed. I'm going to make this bar larger than the other one. I'm using 50 by 50 steel angle, 5 mm thick. I'll cut it to 900 mm long. I'll use the bandsaw to chamfer both face ends to 45 degrees. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a glove on my left hand, it's because I have had some surgery on my thumb. I have more than a dozen stitches and I'm on light duties. And no, before you ask, it's not workshop or accident related. I have a piece of aluminium bar stop 90mm in diameter and it will do nicely as a former for the circular end. The circumference of the former is a little over 280mm, but the tight corners will need a little more, so I'll allow for this by making a 300mm allowance in the bar for the curve. Finding the centre of the angle, I'll mark 150mm each side and then make lines at 45 degrees. These will be the cut lines. I'm going to use the bandsaw and the mill for this project, but this tool can be made with a hacksaw or an angle grinder. Machine tools are not necessary, meaning that this build is not restricted to only those who have machines. I'll adjust the vise swivel base to 45 degrees, then cut one of the angles for the top. Then I'll swivel the base the opposite way to cut the angle for the other end. The graduations on the vise base are close enough for this build. Angle block accuracy is not required.
Next to re-tram the vise back to zero to make the first of two cuts to separate the offcut from the bar. The 516N mill works well but the bar does show a little vibration. I'm using two pairs of vice grips to support the off cut while the final cut is made. If using an angle grinder this would not be needed. A quick clean up with a power file and the bulk of the work is complete. I can't recall if I used heat to bend a small folding bar, it was a long time ago. But this bar is 5mm thick and the web is 50mm, so it's going to need some heat. Ideally an oxy torch would be the go as it would provide much more heat a lot faster and it would be localised. As this is the only torch I have it will just have to do.
Now I can hold it in the vise and heat up the tight bend locations, then use the vise to pull the curve around the former. Clamped up, I'll leave it on the bench to cool. This is a right angle bend in 2mm sheet. They are going to be hammer marks, but I can reduce these by using the leaves as a compression vise. This tool is not just for bending steel, it can be used as a shear as well. I'll use some aviation shears to make both sides of this 2mm offcut on the line I want to cut. This will deform the edge so that it will seat on the face of the tool leaf. Then, using a cold chisel and hammer, I can shear off the waste piece. The bench is moving around a little as it's mounted on wheels and not bolted to the floor. The cut end will need a clean up with an angle grinder or file. I'll use a power file.
Smaller pieces of sheet metal are where this tool comes into its own. Small complex folds that are too small to be done in larger folders are easily handled by this one. This is not any part in particular. I'm just showing that multiple folds can be made, however due consideration should be given as to the order of folds of the work being planned. The spring action of the round helps to keep the leaves stable in the vise. They will open and close with the vise making clamping of the workpiece easier. Between the small and large folders, most foreseeable needs should be covered. The small folder was a high school project back in the day and it's been in my toolkit ever since. To be clear, this is not a precision tool. It should be considered the same as an anvil would be. That is, it is used in conjunction with a hammer. It can be made with rudimentary tools and it doesn't need a machine shop. It is not a pan brake, nor is it a guillotine, but it will do similar work to those. This build is useful for small items where the larger tools may not be the best choice or where access on the workpiece is restricted. This build cost less than $20 in material and took only a few hours to make. Its usefulness far outweighs its cost and time needed to make it. This folding bar has found many uses over the years. I'm sure that the larger one from this build will also find good use. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video and found it of value. If so, please consider subscribing and liking. Be productive, be creative, but most importantly, be safe in your shed. Catch you next time.